Hey guys, my name is Vishwarup, and in this video, we have our guest, Mr. Bhavik, with us. And uh, Bhavik is currently studying in Thomas Jefferson University in construction management. And we also have Olami with us, and she also has a, a YouTube channel, Bong in States. You can follow her channel. And let us start the podcast. So, Bhavik, start with your introduction. Hey, guys. Uh, so, as you know, my name is Bhavik. Uh, and I'm in, I live in Philadelphia, Thomas. And my school is Thomas Jefferson University. Basically, my major is construction management. I'm doing estimated uh, estimation right now, which is pre-construction with this company, Norwood Construction. And this is it. Yeah. Great, great. And first of all, Ravik, thanks a lot for coming in our podcast video. This will help a lot of students. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so let us start with your uh, GRE schools and all. Uh, Basically, let me me clarify this. I am average student, so don't think I am like (laughs) 390 or something. I am 296, okay guys? Chill. <laughs> and yes, my GRE score is 296. <laughs> I'm an average student. I gave it for two times. And uh, my IELTS score is seven. So that I did very good. Very good. Yes. Okay. And okay. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, your bachelor so. school and all. You, you have yes, my bachelor's. Course. So I did it from GTU, Gujarat Technological University, from uh, Vasad, which is in Anand, Gujarat. Okay. Uh, m- my background is civil engineering and uh, with 6.68 CGPA uh, that I did. Yes, it took me uh, like 2013 to 2017. And afterwards, I did my two years of experience uh, with different site, uh, site engineer and civil, em- uh, civil engineering manager, interns. So, yeah, that's all. And afterwards, uh, in two, uh, Jan 20, uh, fall 2020, I joined Thomas Jefferson. Wow, that's really nice. Yeah. And basically, Thomas Jefferson is Philadelphia University. Probably many guys uh, um, goes with that name only. And afterwards, in like 2019, Thomas Jefferson take over the took over the university. That's all. Uh, is uh, like bachelor's marks really matters for uh, entering here? No, no. No. If you have experience, good experience, field experience. If you see, uh, like if your architecture and many of architecture students uh, like take uh, UX UI. Let's assume some some students is going for UX UI. Then for you uh, that admission process, if you have UX UI experience, it might be well. Uh, they probably won't consider uh, any of your marks score or something like that. Yes, it does matter. I'm not saying it won't matter, uh, but your experience counts counts first. Then your uh, bachelor's, uh, then your GRE score. Yes, for state university like Arizona and great uh, like Texas University, and uh, if you go for the any uh, Northeastern University, something like that. Yes. So then GRE school will matter and bachelors, they don't care about that. So people usually, uh, usually take like, uh, if there are, no, I I know my friend, uh, he was in mechanical and afterwards for the masters, he took like uh, industrial engineering, which is a bit different and things like that. Yes. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. So second year, it will count not for the first year experience and your volunteer or tum basically kya kiya hai tumne. if you are okay. founder of some company or something like that startup kiya hai, wo sab pehle count hai. that's all achha, achha. Yes. so which of the universities you have applied here uh see uh, as i said my score was not so good but i went for stevens then uh, northeastern university which is in boston asu and what was Thomas Jefferson. So in Thomas Jefferson, I got the scholarship because of my experience. Uh, Stevens, I got rejection. And uh, 
NEU uh, for NEU I got acceptance in project management, but I wanted to do construction management and ASU I got rejection. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So yes, for that, for state university like Georgia, ASU, and things like that, your GRE score will matter. But like first year will be experience and your whatever you've done in your bachelors and your uh, like as like experience. If you're founder of a company, if you have startup or something like that, it will matter first. Then second GRE, and then your bachelors. Okay, that's yeah. a great thing. So, uh, why you choose USA in general for doing masters? I didn't want to come over here. So <laughs> yes, I came for my family. Of course, I'm good Jew. So everyone wants to like send away. Okay, US made a whole Be that okay? So yeah, but uh, if I if I say in like uh, traditional way, people don't do construction management often okay i'm not saying they don't do they don't like something like that yes we have one university which is nikma which is pg diploma but it's a great a great school if you want to go there yes and for the construction management like you start with civil engineering and you go to the side engineer and things like that and you went up uh, uh civil mein aisa hai ki, it doesn't make sense if, if you want to go for master okay in india it doesn't matter you mean to say yes you have to be on field and you have to, like if people over here don't do construction management they just do civil yeah, engineering right, and after right. they start doing their job and things like that yes but like say i said uh, i wanted i didn't want to come over here i started uh, started prepping for nikmark and things like that but like family and things like that i came over here yes that's why my gr score is low okay <laughs> <laughs> so yeah uh, but in usa yes you got opportunity you get uh, good money good education yes here yeah, right. education is so well designed uh, you just talk about practicals and field field work nothing like um, theory you, and all. yes theory books no it doesn't matter you just go by the theory what uh, performing field so yeah. that's all that's why and for the Th- thomas jefferson university uh i didn't get to uh, like got admitted in asu and thomas jefferson uh, and afterwards steven doesn't have good coursework uh okay. as thomas jefferson has yes and for nu uh, i just wanted to do construction management if i like i'm pursuing my master i just wanted to do i was that sure so uh, in any uh, i got admitted for the project management which is much generic si- side of a management uh, i will suggest everyone that uh, like you are doing masters okay so your your engineering is generic if you are doing civil engineering let's assume there is a structural there is a construction management there is a geotech there is a environmental then uh, there is a field like uh, you, you got the vibe right uh, yes so it's a generic already so if you are doing masters go with the centric okay so how it does geographic location really matters uh yes like why you are asking you are living in texas of course it does okay <laughs> uh, so for the indian boys and girls uh, yes it does matter if you are living in new york philly new jersey texas california florida it does matter arizona yes because you, the, this the states are booming with the economy right. Yeah. Uh, right now california and new york are at their peak right and uh, as everyone knows that people are shifting and companies are shifting from Kelly to uh, Texas, Austin. Then, uh, yes, Austin in particular. Then yes, of course, it does matter. In, in the central part of USA, it is good if you're going for side visit and like for tourist as a tourist spot. Yes, it is good. But uh, if you're if you're uh, selecting your college, make sure you are being in like good place. Yeah, you are in good place. If if you are getting a Texas, go for it. That should be your first choice because every company is coming at that. Right. Yeah. 
even i think the texas is going to be the next silicon valley after uh, texas yes, yes, of course right. it will it will california tesla yeah then yes 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 already alas and uh, tesla uh, tesla also came and now uh, maybe uh, apple and all are also coming right yes uh, apple is also building a headquarters over there so probably yes yeah that's the really great so can you can you give us some uh, tips on how to write a sop uh, and advance because uh, you have got a 296 right yes. but still you can go that yes. so it uh, might be there might be something that you have written in your sop yes sop and lor it matters a lot okay yes. so for lor it should done by uh, like ideally it should be done by your manager or your faculties or your professor or your principal uh make sure you are taking if you have experience make sure you are uh, you are asking a lot from your manager uh and your principal if if uh, or your hod okay uh, they should write a lot for you not you if somewhat you got a, in agreement that you should write then go for, do the internet search uh like for manager you should uh, talking about your work your ethics uh work ethics how you are punctual for your work uh like focused on your work workaholic or something like that don't use workaholic word it's uh, not a good term but yes some somewhat like that in uh, for the hod and principal make sure you, uh, they are adding your extra curricular activity how you were engaged in your college times uh, with different activities or things like that so yeah and for sop it should be okay uh, i have one like suggestion for all of you guys if your college uh, every college or every company has a vision mission for their organization right make sure you are man- mentioning your uh, your qualities which is aligned with their mission and vision okay uh, and you are stating that that's why my core my qualities my ethics are matching aligning with your mission and vision which is this 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 and you conclude the whole sop and uh, how you selected uh, is how you started uh, doing your education how you grow uh, how you grown up in your field uh, why you selected this college uh, then why this particular field how you going to excel yourself what uh, what are you looking uh, as in in terms of opportunity what basically what you going to bring on the table for that college okay for this school yeah yeah that should be your sob right start yeah yes that's great sob me like i have one suggestion if you are good friends then char yeah. logo ko bithao sabka idea dalo aur ek combine kar lo best hai ekdam <laughs> <laughs> जरूर जरूर ये एडवाइस नहीं होनी चाहिए बट ओके एकदम सही है तो अभी कोर्सेज में आते हैं सो कैन यू टेल अस अबाउट योर कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर लाइक कोर कोर्सेज इलेक्टिव्स ओके फॉर थॉमस जो थॉमस जेफरसन टीजेयू आई विल एड्रेस इट नाउ टीजेयू ओके फॉर टीजेयू माय कोर्स वर्क हैज 36 क्रेडिट एवरी सब्जेक्ट हैज अ 3 क्रेडिट एंड यू हो basically 30 credits you have to do it it's like subject and for the 6 credit you can use it in a terms of, like you can use it as a internship sorry you started with the core subject subjects like construction uh, yeah. estimates and scheduling risk uh, risk management construction laws then uh, revit beam uh, subjects and then you sustainable design and things like that yeah there are uh and you got to choose what you want there are pre selected courses pre uh, pre requisite uh there are five subjects total and you have to do that uh, otherwise you have a option like uh, you also can do entrepreneurship uh negotiation courses where you dealing with business if you have exposure in that you can do that and yes uh and uh i might say it's a they are they are giving you a good option in terms of courses and things like that you have the option to select it and most of the university has does that and uh, i have heard that tju's credit is 
like uh, longest one uh, like stevens has 32 credits asu has 30 credits so it's it will gonna vary uh, with your college yeah okay. okay yeah that's that's really great so now let us move on to funding opportunities so yeah. uh, can you can you tell us about some if of your good money then you don't need a funding okay <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> otherwise sbi acha loan deta hai 8.8 or 8.50 go for it uh, funding yes collateral leta hai kya sbi kya collateral leta hai kya sbi collateral samajh nahi aa matlab co-signer ya fir collateral agar aap nahi de paaye to sab mein co-signer chahiye bro if if you are taking loan business or kuch bhi kuch bhi co-signer chahiye that's a thing so uh, oh, uh, i think i think it's better to go with prodigy right kyunki prodigy finance na to collateral leta hai na to co-signer leta hai means jaisa jaisa theek lage main main loan liya yes halaki aapke time mein us waqt utna zyada famous nahi tha prodigy yeah, exactly. empower See, abhi exactly. abhi naya naya aaya hai matlab last ek year to saal se मेरे को लोन का पता है इसलिए आई कैन टॉक अबाउट लोन तो अभी जैसे कि कैसे है इफ यू इफ यू आर टेकिंग लोन ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो दैट योर आई ट्वेंटी विल डिसाइड हाउ मच लोन यू विल गेट बिकॉज उसमें जितना मेंशन होता है दैट विल बी योर अमाउंट राइट यू कैन एड योर एक्सपेंसिस लाइक बुक्स योर लिविंग एक्सपेंसिस एंड थिंग्स लाइक दैट अदरवाइज तुम्हें ज्यादा नहीं मिलेगा आई ट्वेंटी में जितना होगा उतना ही मिलेगा यस यू कैन गेट फॉर फाइव फोर ईयर सम वर्ड एंड afterwards you start paying off if you have money uh, still i will suggest uh, go for the loan kyunki itna paisa invest kyu karna hai bank de rahi to invest kar do yes mm-hmm. and uh, and yes uh, see uh, see your options uh, what is best for you and idhar aake you have to do your work start paying off loan if you are taking a loan then it's a good thing you can you can pay off your loan in within 2 years so that's a good thing one max if you are working hard like if you are working smartly then it will just going to take one year okay that's great oh uh, to funding opportunity ka matlab kya hua hai uh is there any kind of funding opportunities like uh, you can apply for a scholarship uh, or... yes 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 yeah i forgot that okay every college has this uh, specific uh, allotted amount for scholarship if you are coming okay. uh, like international students ko wo zyada they they give a lot of funding to international students yeah. so uh, in my uh, in my scenario uh, I, i had a good experience like i i like to believe that so they offered me a scholarship it will be on your credit uh my offers okay. uh, yes if you are applying and you didn't heard about that yeah. um, e- email your administration office yeah. and ask mm-hmm. them about your scholarship every school has a scholarship program make sure you uh you search for that and they have this application deadlines if you gonna uh, like uh for for me i started applying in feb okay and i applied for my scholarship in april and then i got my i20 and things like that in in june june yes it will take a time but you if you are going uh, like asu has pro every school basically has a program so just start looking for it and apply yes and for uh, that there will be a thing uh, it's it's called a tuition graduate assistant okay Mm-hmm. so they offer a graduate assistantship to students so you might get a scholarship or assistantship okay, okay. you will be yeah. assistant to the professor and yeah. you started working with them they will pay you or either they will cut down your fees it will be mm-hmm. good opportunity so my my friend uh, my friend is ta uh, tuition assistant uh, uh, in my oh, school yeah okay. uh, and he's loan uh, his fees tuition fees cut down by like 75 percentage that's 75 percent yes 75 percent oh, okay then we can pay off his loans within i think three four months exactly exactly <laughs> you don't have to do anything that's the okay <clears throat> so big funding are already allotted for you guys and you yeah. just have to apply search about that okay. ask your consultant if you're going with the consultant like mm-hmm. ask them how to pursue them or how to do so now sob will make impact if you, if you have a good sop and lor 
still going to impact on your scholarship. So make sure you got it right. Definitely. And I have also heard that a lot of students after applying early, if they apply early, then they get yes. a huge amount of scholarships too due to their yes, early. Exactly. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. TA, TA and scholarship are early basis for that. Yes. Okay. Yes, exactly. So, yes, and, not and if you have experience, so you have to get more chances. Okay. Yes. Even if, if, even if somebody has uh, less than one year of experience, right? If someone is going to have three years of experience, then he might get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, basically, in Masters, we all have big, big things. Just Indians, they started at the early age. Yeah, uh, after I they complete their yes. B.Tech, then they start. For... Exactly. I have seen a lot of students who go to Yes, uh, in, in my, my batch, uh, there are people who are 35, 40. Okay. Yes. Nice. And the other youngest one at 26 something. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. It, 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 it might be interesting. Too old for doing masters. I was thinking that. I'm 27. Sorry? Thinking that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I didn't get that. Actually, I was thinking that I'm, maybe I'm too old now to do masters. No, no, no. <laughs> you never, like for bachelors, yes. If you are, see, uh, if you are applying, applying late, uh, US gives you like four to five years of uh, yeah. gap before pursuing masters otherwise you can't just apply in usa for masters okay and that's the thing for indian if you are living in states you just have to go for it just why you why you haven't applied <laughs> that's what i said no actually now my visa status is like h4 but h4. now i have to f1 visa so again i have to go to india back and no 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 for, you can start early, okay? Uh, you can start your school, but you can't go outside of states. If you you can fly back to India and get your stamp over there, otherwise you can't go to Canada or somewhere Costa Rica or something like that. Uh, you can start. I have a friend who has a H four, uh, and she started uh, doing like it's already uh, already one year, so she's still on an H four. She she didn't got a stamp yet, so that's the thing. You can start. start your... Actually, uh, I can do masters in H four visa, but after that they will not provide work work visa. No they no not... no. They, they, so uh, after H one you have to apply. Uh, uh, sorry, after the F one you have to go with the F one rules. So yeah. after completing your that thing, uh, after completing your masters, you have to apply for H one. Yes. Then you can start working. Otherwise, you so can I shift from H four to F one here? Like yes, in US? you can. Yes, you can. But you have to get a stamp. So it's it is like this. Can, yeah. it, 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 it is confusing right now. You can start start uh, studying uh, over here right now. If you are H four, okay, they will change your status on their servers. Now you have. Uh, now your visa is F1, okay? So basically, until you get your stamp, you can't fly outside of states. That's the thing. You can't go to Canada or France or something like that. You, If you're flying outside, it has to be a India. Yeah. Other, other than nothing, okay? Then let's assume you started, uh, right now, you st uh, it's a 2021. You started, uh, got your admission uh, for the fall and you, you are planning for next year. You can do that. After you, you go to India, get your stamp done, and uh, come back over here, okay? Now, you have to follow the F1 rules, internship rules, and things like that. And after completing your bachelor's, for for survival person, either you get your H4 again, or F H1. On H4, you can't work. That's the thing. Uh, on H1, yes, it's a regular thing. If, if, if your spouse got a uh, green visa, green green card file, uh, like in process. They have their green card file in process. You can work now, but other okay. than that, yes. So you can start your masters. Uh, so uh, if our green card process starts, means I can do working. No, but yeah, you can start working. You can start working. There is a law you can where you can start working. No, I have to get H four yearly for that. Sorry? 
H four E A D. E A D. Yes, E A D. E A D card. You have to get first. Yes, but you can get the E A D if if uh, your spouse uh, got their file in progress. You can get your E A D. So tell us about opportunities about on campus job. On campus job. So uh, I I was just talking uh, talking to Shahu that it will be on you, not colleges. They they aren't supposed to give you a. Uh, like job on a plate, you have to go out. You have to serve. Yeah, right. Like yes. So uh, F one F one has a rule which uh, after a one year you can start doing your internship if your college includes in your course. Okay, right. Yeah. So afterwards you start create. Okay, there is a one fun fact. Start working on your LinkedIn. Start putting a post. Shall we, you do a great job? In that so uh, no worries so yes uh, start working on your LinkedIn uh, put up your post what you are doing and things like that it it will help it will gonna help and yes uh, opportunity yes there are many opportunities you have to just be in the right place and right time and work hard for yourself uh, otherwise yes uh, that will be a job fair and things like that but it's it will gonna on you it will on you other than that I can't say. But uh, but like a lot of people were saying that in COVID scenario, the people are losing job, and uh, that's that wasn't a thing uh, in my side. I got a job job in like typical lockdown scenario. So yes, there are many opportunities. You have to just look through it. You have to sit tight and wait for the right opportunity. Right. Yeah, I am saying that people ask that um, in in the career fairs, can we get opportunities or can we bag opportunities? So, what are your yeah, you, on this thing? See, your college, uh, if if you're international student, okay, your college has the reputation to stand on, right? They will ask for a like almost best companies. They will bring down to your college, so it's not on on. It is like this. It's a kind of event that your college is inviting companies. Hey, come on. We have this profile. Our students are the best in the States and things like that. And they will come if they accept. Okay. So that will be your only best companies surrounding on your region where you are living. Right. So, yes. Uh, I don't think so. There, there are bad opportunities, something like that. See, if you are UX, UI. Uh, see, if I'm construction management, uh, Real estate job won't help me in, help me in future, right? So that's a bad opportunity. But it is not for someone who is looking for, right? So that's the thing. You have to search, filter down your best option. Other than every opportunity is best. Pesa aaraye to wo is best hai. Simple. Yes, yes. Ultimately, money. Money is going to matter. For the starting years, afterwards, <laughs> well, you look for the better things. Yes, better opportunities. At least uh, we should cover up the loan yes, first exactly, and then exactly, we should look after exactly. the future. Because if that is just as a second, the loan will be removed. So the burden will exactly. be removed. Yeah. And what are so that, expenses? That Sorry? Living expenses. Living expenses. Yes, good question. So uh, living expenses might vary with your state where you are living, region. So I'm living in Philadelphia, so it's cheaper than new york new jersey boston uh, i'm living in uh, 3 bhk which is cost me 1600 yeah. $1, uh, and i got 400 dollars so we are living four people so it's pretty cheap 200 dollars gro grocery yeah. a month if you are living in mm -hmm. boston you might have to share share your room with uh, giving you 100 dollars yeah. so that's the thing but you will get a better opportunity in Boston rather than in Philly. So that's the thing. That's the thing. Which, uh, 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 pe best college hogi, pe paisa jayega, living expense. That's the thing. And grocery yeah, exactly. will be like two hundred dollars. Patel store pe kahi pe bhi, two to three hundred dollars. If you are going like this. that's the thing. Or uh, your gas, gas is kind of free. Uh, if you have a car, if you're gonna buy a car. Uh, your car might cost you five thousand dollars. Your insurance might cost you one twenty a month, something like that. Around that, uh, these are the expenses I can see. And yes, gumna, gumna, or wo. 
other expenses yes, whiskey is cheap over here so tumhara kharcha nahi hoga like cost cost varies uh, regarding states right yes it Maris. yes it does it does if you are living in texas uh might be it is expensive right i don't know no, much that expensive it's not like yes california yeah. Boston. Yes, California. Yeah. Cali has a fucking compared like, to the huge slab of Texas. Texas, yes. Texas is cheap. cheap. But yeah. I Cali uh, Texas Boston. has a this fine balance, cheap, no tax, and it is amazing. Texas has a huge yeah. landscaping. You want kind of tall seen, building? It's, yeah. Wow, what a landscaping Texas has. And and I have also Texas seen uh, recently yes. students are. the students are trying to move towards texas because they know that the next hub of technology is texas it, it, yeah, as well as it, texas has some really good universities yes, yes. like uti austin uti exactly. arlington texas and then uti dallas there are a lot of universities in texas exactly exactly and recently we did a podcast with uh, one of our guests she she studied in uti arlington uh-huh. uh, so when we asked her that what was your living uh, living cost she said that i am staying in on campus and i have to pay only 350 dollars for everything for one month seriously <laughs> yeah including yes including food and all 350 dollars yeah in arlington scholarship or something like no no nothing nothing wow. my college has 700 dollars on campus living <laughs> yeah <laughs> shit so it was really that's nice good. cheap that's a good thing yeah yeah that's good and yeah. yeah if you if you are coming coming for your masters or something bachelors or something like that always think for like opportunities kahan zyada milegi don't think about aisa ki kal hona ho new york just go with <laughs> yes <laughs> As, right. like literally log aate hai like i want to be at brooklyn or sa hat pelana hai uh, center <laughs> bar <laughs> uh, friends bahut literally ke like uh, If if I, I ask you, okay, what what basically? Because it doesn't make sense for me that you are saying. Okay, it's my opinion. I'm not saying that all of us are same. My, 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 doesn't make sense so yes think about your opportunities where you gonna live to us yeah but it doesn't mean heard, if you if you coming to philly you gonna end up in philly yeah. okay after completing your college uh, your course aap move hone hi wale ho so yeah don't yeah right yes. yes so the opportunities will come in a, uh, in, in in many forms from many parts yes, of exactly, the country exactly exactly so you can move to any any uh, yes if you want yeah, yeah. uh people say uh us is f- full of the opportunity yes that's a right thing me go fancy lagta tha main india mein tha tab but yes it's full of opportunity like you tum hard dal par se paisa niklega that's a thing yes and even even they have moved up from recession to now they are booming in a very fast pace exactly. even in, in any kind of industry yes and, and yeah. yeah so the opportunity is very yeah. very high you you are thinking every day a start new startup with construction or like construction is pretty backward industry if i'm comparing uh-huh. with id or whatever mechanical or something like that yes we still use the tradition way, traditional way but yeah it's yeah. this industry is booming and uh, accepting the technology so other than that we think about the it the mechanical electrical robotics yeah every single thing that's that's a yeah. good thing industries are booming and it's a good thing to be in a part of something is booming and booming so what about cpt and opt yes cpt is uh, is your internship uh, with uh, align uh, which going to be aligned with your uh, your course work right and afterwards uh, like let's assume you are on your la- in your last semester you are you are uh, doing your spring semester it's the fall in like you came uh, came over here in fall and you in last semester which is spring now uh, uh now you have to apply for ead you have one year for cpd like thomas jefferson has after one year you can start uh, start uh, doing your cpd inter- internship work 
and mm-hmm. uh, you can get your internship done you can do 40 hours or 20 hours or 32 hours whichever does make sense mm-hmm. or uh, then uh, that will be a phase in last semester where you have to apply apply for ead card without ead you can't do st- you can't start opt you have to apply uh, in the starting of your semester and you will get a card which is ead card uh, i don't remember the full name of for that but yes and uh, if you if you're a letter uh, let's assume uh, you have a job on your hand you have the offer letter everything is j- just done but before uh, like ead card you can't start working after getting your ead card it will come in your uh, uh, in your mail and afterwards you can start doing your opt for opt uh, right now after completing college uh, before starting opt you you got this 90 days of span where you have to be employed if you want yeah. to stay in to the states them. yes exactly you have to be employed i'm i'm not sure sure july say it gonna be 150 days but i'm not sure okay President okay is coming with a new yes, yes. they new have yeah, they have yes. Yes, they have released a new statement that you can extend your uh, employability search for next two, two months. Exactly. Two more. exactly. So uh, let's assume mm-hmm. you have 150 uh, days. You have to search your job. You have to get uh, your offer letters. Then you have to uh, uh, inform your school, your office. And, and there is a one authority. Administration is working as mm-hmm. UG, SIS, something. I, I'm not sure right now. But it is something like that. You have to inform that, or rather, uh, your office will inform them that now you. Oh, USCIS, uh, USCIS, right? Yes. So for 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 your for your immigration. Exactly. And all exactly. So yes, this is how OPT okay. and CPT is will work. So what do you think that um, do students get the job within the period of ninety days? Yes, most of them get get, uh, get it. If you see. Uh, in, what I believe is in states, you just need a one start. If you are getting internship, you are never going to be unemployed. If your internship is finished, you will gonna get a uh, like. It is the ideal scenario. I am not saying that anyone will get it. This is the ideal scenario. You uh, get first internship, mila, second will get a job. If it is very best, then everyone will get in one company. Mein sab ho or SIA. So yes, everyone will gonna get a um, job in that scenario if he is serious, he or she is serious about that. Other than SAB log hai, mm-hmm. hai, nahi milta. If you're like if you're in Detroit or Alabama, you won't get a good job, good opportunity. States matter. So you have to get out yeah. of that. Yes, you have to come down to uh, eastern coast coast or Kelly or Texas or something like that, then you will gonna get. Okay, so that's that's a great information. Now let us move. Let us move on to how to network and how how you have networked with people and with your employees. Sorry, I, how how to network? How yeah, to how network? to network with network? Network. Okay, network. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, uh, search search about uh, this is what I was start uh, like. This is what I follow. Okay, I just uh, I go to the link. Okay, make your profile good. Do your coursework. Uh, over communication is the thing. Okay, you, you know that ये तो पता ही होगा सबको नहीं नहीं नहीं. You mention every single thing. If you don't have you have done volunteering, any softwares rather is related to your coursework or not. If you're if your construction management, it is expected to you know the AutoCAD, Revit, and things like that, right? Okay, so uh, mention then uh, your softwares, your coursework, your volunteering, uh, any certification you have done. Certification is important. A uh, course era hai, then uh, you devise something, aisa kuch hai. Uh, then LinkedIn coursework, hai, mention them. Uh, main, main tha, I go, uh, I Go to the LinkedIn, search about construction management, and then I got these companies. Companies. Then mm-hmm. I open the members and start following them. Start uh, getting connected with them. That's a pretty simple idea. 
you, uh, while checking their profile, see what co coursework they have done. It might help you to get a good opportunity, right? Estimation, mein hai toh, you have to like uh, after selecting your masters, okay? Think about your majors, what you want to do. Okay, I want to do in pre-construction, always something related to finance and management. Then I came up with pre-construction. Okay, now I'm doing an estimation, which is a part of pre-construction. And jab jab high rank came up, this will surround whole the thing, will include the whole, whole thing. Okay, so think about your majors, major. And then scale related ka work. Karo. Then do something which relate your majors. Don't say kuch random cheese mat karo. Right? You are masters. It is expected. Okay. If you are doing some coursework, it should be related to your major, not minor. Major. Okay. Yes. That's really nice. Start making network minimum 500 plus uh, uh, connection you should have. Uh, think um, it is good if you're, uh, if you're mainly your field uh, like Tumari field ke hi members ho to acha hai. Start interacting with them. Say hello. Uh, congratulations on your new role or posting. Uh, happy birthday or things like that. They will gonna reply and you start asking them, hey, what are, I'm looking for. I'm looking for the better opportunity for this. If you are just let, let me know. Or start putting up articles about your field. Things like that. People gonna interact with them. Start asking us question. Hey, uh, this is what I think about uh, construction industry. What do you think? Start taking uh, uh, start taking opinions and uh, start commenting on people, to people's cha uh, cha channel. If someone has put put down the article or their a coursework or something, their research work, give your th thoughts, opinions about that, and start commenting on that. Uh, after uh, after like starting your masters give uh like give at least 10 to 15 minutes in linkedin every day every day it should be your habit like instagram dekhte ho waise linkedin dekhne ka every day yes yeah yes. linkedin really helps a lot really helps a lot and yeah. especially for the reference it it is best yes it get best and every time okay if if you are living in india if you have experience or your professor is on linkedin get recommendation say full I LinkedIn. recommend this to me. Okay, this is related to LinkedIn, we have a recommendation to so does it matter? Yes, it matters. It matters. Yes, it matters. It matters. It matters. And make sure uh, you, you aren't going just wild. Okay, LinkedIn, don't make a LinkedIn a Facebook profile. Okay. It, it should be, uh, it should be your, with your stream itself. Professional profile. It yes. Be your profile. <laughs> That's really nice. So, can, if, yeah, the, uh, I want to ask another question that uh, can you tell us uh, how to build a profile? Well, if, if somebody wants to do their master's from yours and uh, okay. he or she is studying in their bachelor's, then any tips like how should they build their profile or resume? Okay, okay. start with your profile photo. It does matter. Okay, yeah. you should look professional. If your field is professional, if you are working in designing or something like that, then it should be look artistic or funny or something like that. If you are comedy, it's, it's, it's on LinkedIn, right? Yes, on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Oh. I'm just talking about LinkedIn. Okay, okay. Uh, then build up your profile about yourself, who dynamic professional with experience of this or uh, background of this, mm -hmm. uh, or like it's your summary should be a good. Not like pura paragraph, it should be well sentenced thing. Uh, then uh, put up your courses, uh, uh, then uh, start doing courses. Okay, LinkedIn pe bahut course available, hai. start doing them every time you do a course, post them. Okay, do certifications, do membership, software learning. Yes, it does help. Okay, then uh, then connect with people. Uh, if you like, if you have hundred connections, and if someone has a five hundred connection, it it is obvious that he he has a profile, good profile than this. Okay, like it is like that. People gonna take like this. Okay, so you should have a, a better connection, five hundred plus. I'm just suggesting that. And your LinkedIn 
link which is shouldn't be like linkedin.com slash uh, abcd0898 no 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 that is a option where you can change your uh, linkedin link okay yeah. it should be by your username your username should not uh, like angel priya 76 no it should be like <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing bro i have seen people like angel priya yes, or something yes, yes. Like, you have always yeah. seen it a lot of people do it however their linkedin yeah. profile is very good but they do not focus on the basic thing yes. which is that you are yes, exactly yes. exactly and i have seen and a lot of recruiter first of all sees that you are whether you have changed exactly account. exactly exactly that's the thing so <laughs> it, your link should be like uh like linkedin.com slash xyz i am some xyz or just xyz or something like that it should be short or it should be like this only and your email if you mm-hmm. if you have virat kohli 7091 or bhavik brambad 948161 like it should be like it should be i am bhavik or it should be like uh bhavik brambad or it should be biswar shahu or something like that yes. it should be professional use a different id for your professional life yes you can i think you can use one or two numbers because sometimes the same email is yeah you you can use it should be like minimum like see yes, yes. i have 11 letters in my surname in my last name right yeah so it is tough me to like b r a h m b i h a t t it's a tough thing okay so i go with i a m bob that's the thing or bavik 70 like 95 or something like that it should be like this itna sab nahi hona chahiye gamer boy gamer boy brambad.com aisa hai bahut sahi hai bahut chal karta hai kyunki bahut kar dete hai bhi kar dete hai isi isi mail se exactly exactly mujhe linkedin pe aise bahut milenge that is true this is really true okay so what about job market in construction management job job market yes uh, right now uh, i am see uh, so i thought ke after corona industry might see some difficulty but as a job opportunity it is like just opposite everyone is hiring everyone is hiring uh like uh, talk about a system project manager or estimator or pre construction or uh project managers with some experience or things like that it is great every company is hiring three to four people for their for their post yes it is it is amazing right now best time to get in that's a, yeah. yeah okay then if i'm talking about the scale uh amazon is building uh their warehouse in whole coastal area in okay. whole so there are a lot of uh, we are talking about now a uh, lot of companies that that are uh, they those are involved or involving in that so they need manpower so for coastal east east coastal area it it's a great opportunity right now yeah right right okay so uh, let us come to the next question can you tell us about your visa experience oh my visa share this point man yes so basically you have to think like i am gujju so every other gujju has a visa so we got uh, rejections if i say right so oh. yeah i got one visa uh, i got re- my visa got rejected i had a uh, b1 visitor visa and uh, when i went in like november it was first november okay uh, i went uh, went for the interview and it was horrible so my my gre score wasn't good so he rejected me on my gre score i also t- t- told him that uh, that i got scholarship i have this experience doesn't work so gre score or toefl or ielts it, it might impact your visa it might okay yes if you are if you are doing at least get Get two ninety two ninety two. That I will. Okay. Uh, other than if it's two eighty six or two something, uh, you probably see the rejection. And after afterwards, I have to work on my GRE. In one month, I gave my GRE, and it was two ninety two ninety eight or two ninety six. Yes, two ninety six. And uh, yes, 
the surprising thing was on second interview he just asked me about my gr score first question was gr score so i told told her that uh i, I gave my gr score i have updated my score and this is it this is my new score sheet and i got selected so yes and if you if you think about uh gre's questions if you if we talk about yeah. gre question you might get uh, why this college why this school okay any siblings if you have a sibling what are they doing right now? okay uh, about your uh, financial stability uh, see uh, if if you are going uh, you can show your loan you can show your financial uh, background uh, background uh, with your bank statement your fds your mutual fund statements and things like that yes and uh, about sometimes i don't know why they all they have asked students about their future plans so it it's a sweet spot you can't just say ke ab main wapas nahi aayega theek hai that's okay i have this so now how you have to state that i'm just going for learning i have this background my father has a business or my father has this 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 sometimes you have to fake it that's that's a thing and uh make sure they believe that you going to come back you are coming back yes yes that's a thing that's a thing. most of the time students fake it yeah jaga koni aana chahte yes aise karte i i never seen uh, mera first uh, when i got a first rejection for f1 mera b1 bhi cancel kiya because they think ये चला जाएगा एंड ही विल डू एफ वन इफ यू राइट नाउ इफ यू ऑन बी वन ऑन स्टेट घूमने आए वॉट एवर और यू विल परस्यू एफ वन लाइक फॉर योर मास्टर स्टडीज और समथिंग लाइक दैट तुम इधर से ही अप्लाई कर सकते हो एंड यू कैन गेट योर वीजा ओवर हियर ओके इफ इफ यू आर ऑन विजिटर वीजा यू कैन डू दैट थिंग ओके सो दैट्स अ प्लस पॉइंट फॉर बी वन wow that's really nice so let us come to the next question and this is the last question of this podcast uh, do you have any tips for students uh, any final tips any uh, final tips uh, uh, write down your priorities okay you are coming for masters not for fun that's a other thing yes you can enjoy your yeah. fri- saturdays friday sundays but you are coming for your masters make sure uh, yeah. if you have good fine uh, good background that's a good thing mm-hmm. but you are like you are 25 okay you have to do your thing you have to make money yeah. so thing like this must get the the get complete your masters do a good job then start doing other things you can do it parallelly but your focus should be on your studies not earning first thing is that yes. and afterwards it's earning yeah. some some yeah. people, so some people might distract with other things like right most of That's... the gujaratis uh, start drinking and doing party because gujarat mein nahi hai so that's a thing yes oh okay. other 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 students uh, might live with the family never experience a hostel life or things like that they open up after coming over here they start they go wild okay let me say that they go wild so this are the distraction yes either see i will say us hai na young lady hai 25 years ki think like this it has everything okay yeah i'm not okay. saying wrong words uh, like 25 year ka ladka ladki hai the us is just crazy if you are comparing with canada or britain or something like that britain are classy people us knows how to party and how to enjoy everything is like yeah bologe wo yahan pe hai yahan pe log karte hai theek hai idhar kuch naya nahi hai so that's the thing but you are coming from india think about 75 rupees transaction okay you are paying in rupees so that's yes a, make your but then unless you make it in dollars yes exactly if you are making in dollars then you can spend you have a right to spend it <laughs> yes yes <laughs> and until and unless you are in the loan you have to get and spend it like yes. that yes dekho aisa nahi tum enjoy nahi kar sakte enjoy kar sakte of course abhi karta hu barabar but to distract mat hona 
ठीक है डिस्ट्रैक्ट नहीं करो एक्स्ट्रा बैक पढ़ाई करने आओ पढ़ाई करो डॉलर्स पे है नाउ पे बैक योर लोन एंड स्टार्ट पेइंग योर फीस एंड स्टार्ट एंजॉयिंग योर लाइफ दैट्स अ थिंग डिस्ट्रैक्शन मत लो लाओ अदर देन सब कुछ है तुम जो भी करोगे मांगोगे वो सब इधर है दैट्स अ थिंग Okay, so with this question, we are going to end this podcast here. Wow. And thanks a lot, Bhavik and Polami, for joining us in this podcast. Hey. Uh, if you guys want to thank say anything so. to our thank guests, you, thank you so much for uh-huh. having me. Or mind my language if me kuch gali wali nikal gaya to. Yeah, we can. Abhi to chalta hai sir. Don't take offense on US ko lady bola to. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> I ah. respect every like, lady. Okay, just. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i have lot of fun with uh, bhavik and uh, vishru thank you thank you so much for having me it was fun talking with you follow me yeah thank you thanks for all thank you, you. Thank you.